Muhammad Mian Mansur Ansari Urdu Mulyulana MEHMD Maya Mansur Ansari the 10th of March 1884 to the 11th of January 1946 was a leader and a political activist of the Indian independence movement He was born into a noble family of Ansari in Up Saharanpur He grew up in the house of Allama Abdullah Ansari Mansur Ansari returned to the Darul Uloom Deoband and gradually became involved in the pan Islamic movement during World War I, he was among the leaders of the Dioband school, who, led by Maulana Mahmud al-Hassan, left India to seek support of the Central Powers for a pan-Islamic revolution in India in what came to be known as the Silk Letter Movement. <laughs> Early life He received his primary education at Madrasa e Manba al Ulam, Gulaathi, where his father was a head teacher. Graduating from the Dar al Ulam in AH 1321, he served as a teacher and a head teacher in various places. A year before India became free, the 15th of August 1947, he died after 31 years of exile. Topic: <laughs> Silk Letter. The hero of Silk Letter Movement Maulana Muhammad Mian Mansur Ansari, the one he went to Hejaz with Maulana Mahmud Hassan in September 1915 and worked as treasury of the Jama'ah. He returned to India in April 1916 with Ghalib Nama Silk Letter which he showed to freedom fighters in India and the autonomous area and then took it to Kabul where he reached in June 1916. Later years. Mansur Ansari went to Kabul during the war to rally the Afghan Amir Habibullah Khan. He joined the Provisional Government of India formed in Kabul in December 1915, and remained in Afghanistan until the end of the war. He travelled to Russia and spent two years in Turkey, as well as passing through many other countries. He was one of the most active and prominent members of the faction of the Indian Freedom Movement led by Muslim clergy who were chiefly from the Islamic school of Dioband. In 1946, the Indian National Congress requested him to return to India so the British Raj gave him the permission. He remained at Kabul, where he began a program teaching and translating Tafsir Sheikh Mahmudul Hassan Diobandi known as Kabuli Tafsir. <laughs> Death Muhammad Mian Mansur Ansari was taken seriously ill and died on the 11th of January 1946 at Jalalabad, Nangarhar Province. He was buried in the graveyard adjacent to the grave of his mentors in Lagman, Mutharlam Baba. Lagman, Mutharlam Baba is 35 kilometers district, Lagman, Afghanistan. 